Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk real quick about how you could strum through an, an easy song by uh, the Zach Brown band called Knee Deep, and we're, we're going to do a transpose into the key of D major. Um, so we're going to start on a D major chord. We're going to take the first finger and put them on the G string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go in the high E on the second fret, and third finger is going to go in the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the top four strings, that'll get you your clearest sound with, with the D major, and that sounds really, really happy. And from the beginning, we're, we're doing a D major chord, and then another D major chord. And then we're going to be going to a G major, and the way you play G major is first finger is going to go on the A on the second fret, second finger is going to go on the low E on the third fret, third finger is going to go on the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all the strings with that, that's called G major, and it sounds really happy. Um, and we're going to do that twice, and then we're going to go back to D major, and then do the D major again. And then we're going to do an A major, and the way you play A major is first finger is going to go on the D on the 2nd fret, 2 is going to go on the G on the 2nd fret, and 3rd finger is going to go on the B on the 2nd fret. I often call the A major the party on the 2nd fret for that reason, because everybody's on the 2nd, so on the D, G, and B on the 2nd fret. That's called A major, and then we're going to go back to D major, and then we go back to A major. And then we're going to start over again, sort of, but there's another chord we have to kind of add in. We're going to go back to D major, and then do another D major. G major, and another G major, but then we go to a B minor chord. Now, now through this video I'm going to be playing the bar B minor, and the way you, you do that is you're going to take the first finger, put it across the entire second fret, second finger is going to go to the B string on the, the third fret, third finger is going to go to the D on the fourth fret, and then the pinky goes on the G string right underneath him on the G on the fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, then that makes a B minor chord, which is kind of a sad chord. And then we're going to do A major, and then G major, and then A major, and then go back to D major, and then another D major. So that's kind of our intro. Now the weird thing about the, um, now the B minor, if that's difficult for you, like with the bar chord, you, there's a good cheap B minor that you could do where you take the, and it's still a four finger thing, but you take the first finger and put them on the high E on the second fret, two is going to go on the G, B string on the third fret, Third finger is going to go on the D string on the fourth fret, and the pinky is going to go right underneath that on the G on the fourth fret. And if you strum just the top four strings with that, that's another way you could play B minor. So if the bar seems like a difficult thing, it's basically what we're doing is we're minusing out the bar to play just the top four strings with the first finger on the high E on the second. So that's another way to do the B minor, but I'm going to actually do the, the full bar through the video. <clears throat> now the weird thing about this is, is um, uh, this song is in 4-4 four, four time. So one of my favorite strum patterns uh, for 4-4 four, four is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we you know, we'll do that on every single chord through the song, except for, or at least on the intro, on all the chords, except for when we get to the B minor, A, G, A, near the end. And what we're going to do for that is we're going to half the strum pattern on each of those. It's kind of like the B minor and the A are in one measure, and the G and the A are in one measure. So we're going to do B minor with a down, down, up, and then A with a down, down, up. With a down, down, up, and then A with a down, down, up. When we get that one section. So, but from the beginning, if we're doing the chord progression with, with the down, down, up, up, down, we've got the D with a down, down, up, up down, up, D, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, A, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, A, down. Basically exactly what we just did. So we got D down up, up down up, D down up, up down G down down up, up down G down down up, up down D down down up, up down A down down up, up down D down up, up down A down down up, up down D down up, up down G down down up, up down G down down up, up down G down. Down, down, up, A, down, down, G, down, down, up, A, down, down, B, 
chorus, which is almost exactly the same thing. So then the chorus, we got D down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, G 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 down, down, up, up, down, G
chorus where you do just downs on chords. So we have D, D with blocking, A blocking, but then this is a little where we go D and then A and then B minor, A and then G, so just downs on all those. And then we go E major, and then A major, and then we kind of keep on going. So that's a little weird, it's almost like a chorus tag or something. So, so let's try that one more time. So you got D major, A major, D major, A major, B minor, A major, G major, E major, and then A major. And then we go back to this drum pattern for the, 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 the tag, which is kind of like the chorus in the verse. So we got D down, 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 That, that's the basics of how you could strum through a song by the Zach Brown Band uh, featuring Jimmy Buffett called Needy. So, good luck! <laughs>